Friday Woohoo Business. A Dal Rentone, Daddy Door Athlete of the Week presentation this week. Two for the price of one. We got two athletes for you, man. From uh, Guam High, we got Juan King and Solomon White. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. And a message from our uh, man here at Dial, CJ. CJ, who would you like to donate this check to? Oh, we'd like to donate our check to uh, Special Olympics. Oh, there you go. These uh, boys, man, making that big step uh, to the next level. They're getting scholarships to go play uh, football in the States. Uh, Juan, can you tell us a little bit about the scholarship you got? Uh, well, I'm going to be attending Culver Stockton. It's a private high school in Missouri, Canton, Missouri. And I'm going to be on an athletic and merit scholarship. So I just hope to, to work hard and stay focused. No, I mean, uh, you're one of the island's uh, best young running backs. What do you think it's going to be like to take you to the next level and go out there and uh, rep out your island? Uh, it's going to be a, a big step, but I'm just looking forward to it. Uh, just comparing my talent to the talents there in the mainland and hopefully bringing my, my talent up to their talent. If not, even better. So just looking forward to that. Originally, uh, your family from Tania, and so what's it like to go uh, all the way out to Missouri and uh, rep Tania? Are you going to educate some people out there? Of course, seeing my six seven zero. Just trying to wrap my island and don't forget your roots. Stay, stay, stay true to who who, ra who raised you and stay true to you. And that's how I'm gonna keep my mindset throughout the whole process. And what kind of uh, prep work are you doing uh, ahead of time? Oh, I'm um, just weightlifting, running, surfing on the week weekend. So that should be good. All right, and uh, Solomon, tell us a little bit about the deal you got. So uh, I get a full ride to the uh, Air Force Academy, but um, I'm going to redshirt my freshman year and then try to continue to build my strength and speed to uh, continue my sophomore year. And um, yes, I'm going to be playing quarterback, but a little bit of receiver also. So uh, what do you think it was, uh, you know, with your abilities that caught the eye of the Air Force Academy? I think it was my speed, not so much my throwing ability, but hopefully I improved my throwing ability too to help the team out. So what kind of uh, drills and workouts are you doing in preparation? So uh, I throw with some of my teammates, like Juan, occasionally. And um, I'm on the track team, so I get some sprinting in to increase my speed and also weightlifting and like push-ups and stuff to get my strength up. All right, well, there you go, our Athletes of the Week. Hey, congratulations, uh, boys, and continue to do us proud here at Adal uh, Renta Own and Dedito CJ. What kind of specials you guys got going? We got to buy one, get one free here on, in April. Come on in, see me. There you go. Hey, on behalf of uh, CJ, my name's Chris. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by... United Airlines Guam Marathon Half a Day Expo at the PIC. Remember, no packet pickups on race day, so you must get your race numbers and do last-minute registrations down at the Expo at the PIC. Packet pickup will end tomorrow, Saturday, April 8th, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So this is the last time for anyone to pick up their packet, their shirts. There won't be any race day packet pickup Sunday morning, race morning. Any last minute registration will be available here at the Pacific Islands Cup Pacific Pavilion between 9 and 6 p.m. Uh, come down while we still have slots. Uh, other than that, once the races are closed, we're done. Also, be aware of road closures on race day Sunday. Tumon will pretty much be closed down for Pacific Star to Hilton Intersection. That's where we have our start parties. We'll be taking on all the roads across GVB for that. And then all along the race course, going up JFK Hill, all the way down to Navy Base along Marine Drive from uh, to morning all the way down to PD. Uh, southbound lanes will be closed, so expect traffic delays. If you guys can, it's a Sunday. Sleep in a little if you're not part of the race. The World Karate Organization, Shin Kyoku Shin Kai Karate Guam, hosting the 2017 Guam National Full Contact Karate Championship. Saturday, St. Paul Gym. Over 50 competitors expected to participate in various age and gender categories. Admission five bucks and the tournament starts promptly at 10 a.m. karate time. The tournament format follows guidelines set forth by the World Karate Organization, Shin Kyoku Shinkai, and will feature matches under what is commonly known as knockdown or full contact karate. Outlanders on the hardwood against Mac Tech in the GBA Basketball League. Pull up three, Bob, and no. Ball gets tipped to the big rig. James Collins for the turn around. Hook shot off the backboard. Collins, game high 25 points. Michael Wilson with the pump fake. Muller, baseline bucket. Eight points on the night for Wilson. Jay Casimiro with a pass to Jerry Hinkle. Hand down, man down, three pointer. Maulik. Tito Canovas picks up the loose ball, bounce pass to Jonathan Triplett, who put up a team high 22 for Mac Tech Nerds. Outlanders get the win, 74-68.
Jay Casemiro with two of his nine points in the paint. In the earlier GBA game, MVP beat out UOG 86-74.